guys, Matt from Ultimate City of Source. Um, ah, I said that to the press, whatever. Um, today, I've got a cool video that's based on my friend Mr. AJ's text video. It's how to jailbreak your iPod Touch 2G iPhone or iPhone 3G. Let me just uh, pull up a quick movie recording so you can see my camera. Um, you can see my iPod Touch 2G uh, 4.0. Uh, GCM, the Grand Candidate Master, whatever, is on this. Um, so we're going to jailbreak this. Just to prove it to you real quick that it's on uh, 4.0. Let me just unlock it. Let me turn down the brightness slightly so you guys can actually see the screen. Um, yeah, it's got a dull look to it. It's a long explanation why it's look doesn't look shiny like it should. Uh, very awkward story. Um, let me see. You can see my little folders in the Game Center. Oh, it's really hard when it's backwards. Okay, you can see the folders and stuff. So, um, proof that it's on 4.0. Real quick. So, uh, let's just get started with this. First, you're going to need a couple... Oh, sorry. I actually had this video loaded on my iMac, so it's actually just playing just now. First, you'll need a couple obvious things for this. Um, the obvious thing being an iDevice that works, iPhone 3G or iPod Touch 2G. Uh, your UDID will need to be registered. Uh, you'll need water just because it keeps you hydrated so uh, keep this close or far away from your Mac which is required uh, Macs don't like this stuff neither does my iPod touch I learned that the hard way last summer actually and optional is my cool Mac OS X t-shirt um, no cool t-shirts optional actually you really don't need that one but does it make you look cool absolutely yeah maybe nerdish but whatever um, so I'll leave that video up real quick so we can show the progress. First thing you'll need to do is download the uh, IPSW for your iDevice and Mr. AJ's Tech actually has a link on it. Try to include that in the description or like an annotation. Um, and then you'll need to download the newest version of the Red Snow Beta. Then all you do is hit browse and make sure like it says that you have your UDID registered. Even though it does work without it, it has problems sometimes. Uh, and then select your IPSW for your corresponding iDevice. Now, note real quick, guys. Unlike my current video, oh, hold on. Um, with iPhone OS 4, iOS 4, uh, working on the iPhone 2G and stuff like that, uh, this is not going to work on the iPhone 2G yet. Uh, if it does, I'll put an annotation somewhere around here or something. Yeah, make a little box, I guess. Uh, if it does work, but which it will eventually, but until that time comes, stay tuned by hitting the little subscribe button. Um, now you can see I got a message that came up saying, "Is this a newer model, MC model?" Um, to check that, like it says, just go to settings, which is what I'm gonna do right now. You go to settings. Let me turn this away real quick so you can't see my Wi-Fi network or anything. Keep my data personal. And of course, it's freezing up because I think it's coming to something. Your settings, then general. Let's see if I can get that in. Um, about. Let me cover up my name. Okay. Um, all this different stuff. And then you'll see it say, like model. And then it'll go to. You can see mine's an MB, and you can see it says 4.0. So it says if this is an MC model, it might not completely work. So if it is, uh. You've got two options, risk it and chance to restore, or uh, just stop the video right now. So go check out one of the other videos up here, or go, where is it? Yeah, whatever. One of the videos somewhere else. Um, hey, so whatever. Uh, no, this is not an MC model. So you can see it's all got my IPSW successfully identified. I'm going to click Next. It's going to start downloading it. Uh, make sure your iDevice is connected to your computer, as mine is. You can see it says preparing jailbreak data. Now would be a good time to use that water if you have it. Uh, make sure you're far away from your app. Macs don't like that. Okay, so you can see it's got some stuff loaded. Um, oh, cool. That's just going to do something I was going to make a video on. Enable multitasking and wallpapers. That is important. Uh, it doesn't always work very well, but I will make a video on how to disable it if you do select this, which I'm going to. 
Uh, custom boot logos. Nah. I like the regular Apple. Custom recovery. Nope. Hate that Steve Jobs one. Don't feel like replacing it either. Install Cydia. I mean, heck, if you're jailbreaking, you probably want Cydia. So, leave the boxes that are checked as is. Uh, I mean, given... When I say that, guys, you still can change it, but it's not going to work as well, maybe. Huh, I don't know. Who cares? Um, okay, time to seal up the water now. Time to get your hands on the iDevice. It says, please make sure your iDevice is both off and plugged in. Off is something mine is not. So, since it's not jailbroken, I have to hold it, slide. If it is not off, yeah, turn it off, whatever. Um... Okay, let's see. You can see it's just finishing turning off real quick. Kind of hard to see with the other reflection on my MacBook Pro screen, but yeah, it takes a while to turn off. Almost as long as my Mac takes to turn on. Oh, ho, ho. slammed Apple, whatever. No, I'm just kidding, guys. I love my Apple products. Apple shirt. Um, let me see. If I can really turn on Apple. Uh, iMac. iPhone iPhone right here, iPod Touch right here, my iPhone 4 I'm ordering actually next Tuesday, I'm putting my pre-order in. Now it's all off, so I can click next. Uh, hold down the power button. Oh, here, let me just go back. So it's going to say hold down the power button for three seconds, then let go. Then without releasing the home power button, hold down the home button. And it gives you a countdown timer. Uh, you just have to do this quickly. Then without releasing the home button, release the power button at the top. Better in the shot. And I'm sorry, guys. This actually isn't recording. Just don't feel it. Now you should see it. It's a waiting for reboot. Uh, white screen. White screen's actually good this time, guys. Thumbs up. Just like what you should put thumbs up for the video. Um, keep waiting for reboot. Now you can see it says downloading jailbreak data. Uh, that's important. If you unplug this right now, guys, I hate to say it, but you guys are screwed. If you unplug the cable right now or anything goes off. Um, crucial point. Basically, if you lose power in anything you're using right now to do this, uh, you're looking at a good restore. And we all know iTunes, meaning you're looking at a good half an hour. Um, Till then, you can see my Mac screen saying uploading RAM disk. So in the meanwhile, time to get more water. Okay, it says it should be rebooting soon. Now it says it's got a little loading. Let me turn on the Mac screen. Um, so you can see it's just going to keep spinning for a while. Guys, this is not as fast as Black Rain. And Geohot claims he's, and I don't doubt that he has, um, he's jailbroken 4.0 using, um, Black Rain. So until that comes out, we're stuck using the old manual method. Uh, yucky for all you spoiled people who got spoiled with Spirit and Black Rain. Okay, it's reloading the kernels, watching NDR and stuff. Uh, honestly, I have no clue what that means. All I know is it's good, because when I jailbroke my iPod Touch originally on 3.0, it came out last year, it was good. It all ended up working out. And that was because Blondie1996 helped me with that. So you can see it just takes a little while to do. Um, you can close Red Snow down if you want. I might as well get the space more. Let's open up some space for the video. Um, yeah, this does take a little bit longer than it should, but, wow. I, you know, actually guys, after using Black Rain a lot, since I don't like Spirit, uh, yeah, I know a lot of people will probably comment below saying, uh, why don't you like Spirit? Because it bricked my iPhone 2G, even though it should work on it, it didn't. Uh, okay, so it's rebooting now. Apple logo, okay, that's good still. I was really worried that wasn't going to come up. Uh, being this is just a beta red snow. So, if you have an Apple logo like I do right now, you're in good shape so far. Um, now it might take a little while to load on initial launch. Um, this might this might be a good time to show you some things about this real quick. Um, obviously, it says some things now. Uh,